indication, announcement of what National will do in government. Simon Bridges addresses the Wanaka community during his visit to the region last week. With tourist numbers set to grow, the Queenstown Airport Corporation has proposed turning Wanaka's small airport into one capable of landing passenger jets. Reality is you've got huge numbers of tourists coming into this part of the world. It's a big part of how New Zealand makes uh, a living. And so broadly speaking, whilst it's for, for uh, the um, airport, uh, it's for locals, um, I'm somewhat sympathetic to the case that's being made around an additional airport at, at Wanaka. Bridges says the Resource Management Act and other planning laws protect locals, and he'd like to see local residents have the final say on any expansion. I think though what does work best, whether it's ports uh, for ships or whether it's airports for planes, is local communities and the airports making decisions their own best interests. He doesn't rule out the possibility of central government taking part in the decision making process. Look, I think never say never in terms of government getting involved in these sort of issues. You know, sometimes there is a case for a bit of um, 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 pulling power, if you like, from the government saying, you know, we think you may be getting this wrong. The proposal to have jet-capable airports in both Queenstown and Wanaka would mean about $400 million being spent on developing Wanaka Airport over 25 years. In Wanaka, the South Today.